Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Leon from No More Lines. So today's video will show you how to solve a problem in automation where you're calling a subroutine that opens up another workbook, but it just so happens that the workbook is already open. Actually, the subroutine I'm about to show you, basically the subroutine itself, it looks to see if the file is in read-only mode or not. And if it is, it basically will close it out um, as if it's a different instance of Excel, all within uh, the auto open um, subroutine. So I'll just kind of go over, uh, I guess, exactly what it's doing. So uh, previously, I did a video about the auto open function. Uh, basically, what that does is that it, it auto executes the subroutine as soon as you open the, the workbook up. So in this case, what happens is that every time it opens the workbook up, it's going to look for a workbook in the uh, in the example folder on my desktop. It's going to be called open uh, open workbook. And then from there, it's going to basically see if the files open up through a function. And this is a function here. So so I'll just step through it and I'll show you exactly what it's doing. So. First thing it does is that it basically this uh, there's a, a, a variable called open file name. That open file name is the file that it, it's going to be looking for to see if it's already open already. So from there, uh, it runs a, um, a function. And, and then what that function does is that it basically will check to see if the file is open or not and it, it'll basically turn off the error messages if it is uh, already open um, so here basically it does a case statement where it basically will see uh, the error message that it uh, it says so in this case uh, the error message is going to be a, a case of zero and and zero means that the file is not open already so basically it'll run through that and if the if the file is open it'll close it out and it'll save changes but this here you can actually set it to where it doesn't save changes i just have it to where it save it saves changes so in the event that i'm i'm doing something or something happens whenever this this automation runs it'll automatically make sure that the actual changes are being saved so uh, so real quick i'll show you uh two instances of it working I'll show you the one instance where the file is not open and I'll show you the other instance where the file is actually open. All right. So right now the, the open workbook is not open, but if I go to example one, you see that basically the workbook's not open, but if I were to go back into the, the, uh, open workbook and open that file up, And then I close out of the example one workbook. When I go back and open up the example one workbook, basically the other one closes out automatically. So I, I think it's a pretty cool thing. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna link this in the description box. I'll put um, the actual VVA code itself, uh, but I think this is a nice thing to have. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. All right, thank you.